Okay, so we're going over the taping for the adductor longus tendon. And uh, the, this is the scissors we tend to use for taping, which is gonna be this Westcott non-stick Teflon coated scissors. They're usually about $12 uh, from Staples. Uh, and you can get them online. They're much easier to use if you're gonna be taping on a regular basis, the non-stick scissors. Um, the next thing we're gonna have is we're gonna have um, nine squares, 18 inches of cover roll stretch. Cover roll stretch is the box that it comes in. We're gonna have uh, a roll of two inch wide Elasticon by Johnson & Johnson. We have another strip of the cover roll stretch that's four squares or eight inches, and then two smaller strips that are two squares or four inches. So we're gonna under, kind of look at understanding the anatomy here just so we can do this tape properly. First off, for this uh, video, there is a bikini in, uh, on a patient or on a person. Obviously no bikini, um, less hair is obviously better as well. Um, so let's identify the ASIS, this bone here in, in the front. It's in the guanal canal. Now we'll look at, identify the, this tendon the adductor longus tendon is that most prominent tendon on the inner thigh with the leg in this position. I'm just gonna say, hey, we're gonna come right across from this tendon insertion to the ASIS. So that ASIS is just a marker for where the inguinal canal comes down as the uh, transverse abdominis fascia comes together and it forms that inguinal canal. It continues across to the adductor longus insertion. So, Key, you got an 18 inch piece of tape that can't stick to itself. So spread your fingers out very quickly, smoothly separate the uh, backing from the tape. And then we're going to put that tape on the ASIS. We're going to identify that, that adductor longus tendon. So we don't want to have any stretch on that cover roll stretch. We want it to have some stretch to it. I'm going to put the next strip just right over the top of the next one. And just going to be careful that we don't have any skin opening between the two tapes. Just going to gently make sure that gets all the way down into that inguinal crease. Here we got the tape, the cover will stretch down. This is in the stretch position. So to give the patient support, we're not going to tape them in the stretch position. We wanna have them, the tape be a little bit extra, be stretching and supporting them in this position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten the leg out, make it a little more neutral. And now we're going to tape with this Elasticon, two inch wide, Johnson & Johnson athletic tape. And the next level is going to be splitting about halfway over the tape and expanding a little bit further. So this is that second. About 60% stretch. It's not over, over stretched. I'm going to take this eight inch, I mean, eight squares four squares, eight inch piece of cover roll stretch. I'm gonna place it over this inguinal crease just to hold that tape down. I'm gonna put the two square, four inch on either side. Okay, so just to know, this is gonna be, this tape is gonna come right over the top of the clitoris or right over the base, right above the base of the penis, you know, for men. And uh, the same tape for men and women. Uh, that's, the, that's the athletic taping, the supportive tape 
uh, for adductor longus tears, especially important after uh, regenerative medicine for the adductor longus.